you know, the, the SW stands for sine wave, and, you know, this has become a real uh, the topic of conversation with a lot of people. Do I really need a, a true sine wave inverter? Uh, can I get away with a modified uh, waveform inverter? And at the end of the day, a lot of this depends upon the equipment that you're going to be running uh, on board the boat. Uh, I will say that in some of my tests, looking at the sine waveforms, the, that come out of uh, the various bits of equipment, you know, the uh, the SW series from Xantrex looks pretty good. And uh, uh, I think for the most part, I think for the average person, uh, sticking to a sine wave inverter is probably the smart move in today's world. There used to be a big difference in price between the pure sine wave inverters and uh, the modified square wave inverters. That price disparity has diminished significantly in the last few years. I really don't see any reason not to get a sine wave inverter these days. So that's one of the things I really like about that particular unit. The other things I like about it are, you know, the displays, the remote displays, got a lot of nice functionality. It's just a nice clean package. It's relatively compact, and it, it is set up with uh, pretty good ventilation as long as you put the box in the right place. Uh, it's got plenty of ventilation capability built into it. It's, it's a nice package.